Great news, everybody. You can load the AN200 editor for Yamaha on Windows 2010. First, you're going to need to do a search for Yamaha.com AN200. Once you're at the website, go ahead and locate AN200 for English. If you speak English, that is. All right. Down at the bottom, you're just going to have to accept the license agreement, standard stuff here, and go ahead and download it. I like to save things to my desktop. Then you're going to need to go to XG Central to find the RAR file for Yamaha's XG synthesizer. Or it's actually a sequencer. You're going to run the AN200 as a plugin inside of the XG. It's very important that you install the XG first. Otherwise the AN200 is not going to properly install because it can't see the software that it has to have to run. Okay, once you've got the files on your desktop, you're going to need to download 7-Zip or a similar program. That's the one I recommend, free of viruses, and you'll use that to extract the RAR file. Select 7-Zip, extract here to the same location. Now it's on your desktop. And now you do the same thing, except you don't have to use 7-Zip for the other file because it's not an RAR. Now that the files are extracted, you go and you must install the XG first. Go down to where it says Properties and click on Compatibility. You're going to run it in compatibility mode for Windows 98. It may work in XP. But I tested it in 98 compatibility mode and it works there for sure. Okay, now that that is switched, you can go ahead and actually run the program, which is an installer. And it installs very quickly, at least on my computer. Got a pretty fast laptop here. Very small program, 13 megabytes. Okay, after the XG works is installed, you can go ahead and install the AN200 editor. Same thing. You're going to find the program and first set it for compatibility mode. Do not run the combat compatibility troubleshooter. Okay, switch that over to Windows 98. And go ahead and run the executable file. Five megabyte program. <laughs> you gotta love these old programs. just a few toys I have here in my studio. Before you start up the XG Works and the editor, you're going to need to plug in your USB to MIDI adapter.
the M Audio works well. I tried other cheap ones and they didn't work. With the MIDI to USB interface plugged in, you can go ahead and start your XG Works. You start that first and then you go up to Setup. And if it's not already automatically selected, you need to make sure that the MIDI in is set to your interface in and the MIDI out is set to your USB interface out. Okay, then you open up your editor and now you can get down into the deeper levels of editing that are not available from the front panel. You can uh, edit things such as FM. You've got this control matrix here where you can uh, set external control. You can download a free editor manual that explains these things in more detail. Here you can see the four tracks of the free EG and how you can edit them and it's very cool. On this screen you can edit the step sequencer. You can actually set the note values here. You can also set the effect of course which you can do from the front panel but it's kinda nice when you can do it here. With everything hooked up and running properly the changes that you make in the editor will affect the AN200 in real time. And this should also work very well with the DX200 editor software as well.